Hey guys, this is Tim from Take Branch C, and today I will teach you Slick Slider, which is a jQuery plugin. And here is the quick demo to understand Slick Slider. You can put videos, content, images, everything, and you can slide like this. So here uh, is the official uh, GitHub page of the Slick jQuery plugin. I will give you a link in the video de description. And also uh, we have a lots of more examples to understand. Uh, slick uh, slider which is uh, more popular and many peoples and many developers uh, are using in their websites uh, and in their product um, uh, in the website right so it's pretty uh, easy to use and I will teach you every step and to uh, to add that plugin in our project so here is the uh, image slider right so first we need to create a project I am creating project inside a netbean which is PHP application next and I will give a project name uh, you can give any project name I am giving it slick and it's a project location inside a stdoc you can manually create inside a stdoc right so let's remove this uh, unnecessary comment unnecessary code and this PHP tag as well simple so let's come on a github page on a slick and download the zip file let's save it and then uh, we need to open this folder right click and extract here and we need uh, this folder which is slick let's copy and cut whatever you want and let's copy and paste inside our project so here is the some files and folders and uh, some files and folders inside a slick which we uh, which we have downloaded from github and this two fi uh, three files we need this is the theme.css slick theme.css and slick.css there's two file two css files and one js file so let's first uh, we need to include css file so link and href h ref and it's a ref, uh, uh, link to uh, uh, slick.css and it's related to style sheet rel related to style sheet let's copy this one and paste one more time and just remove this one as well and this is for a uh, theme slick theme.css which is this one so this two important uh, files of CSS we have included and one more file we need which is our own CSS style of CSS let's remove this comment and also we need to include because we need to uh, add we also we uh, we will include our own CSS code as well so we need a jQuery CDN as well jQuery CDN let's click on first link and click a minifest minified file copy minified file and paste let's remove this code because we don't need it's in it's important but at this time uh, it's not important and this is the slick main.js file so bam done so external css and js files we have included and put also a script tag for uh, our code to activate a slick slider and here we will write our jquery code and javascript code simple then some dummy html codes div and inside also div and put some dummy content content some content content uh, whatever content content one let's copy and paste more some more time some content some content some content and let's replace to one two three four five six seven something like that one two three four five and six and you can put many more and give its class any class you can give it's not it's not important you can give any name i am giving it my slick and then activate that slick slider here so let's ready uh, jquery dollar and document dot ready this function will ready will activate your jquery 
and function and semicolon and here fine and here we will call the method of slick so just go to here I will give a link in our video description so here is the lots of examples I will take one uh, here mm, which is uh, you can put any examples I'm putting a specific uh, just red yeah get this one uh, this type of slider we need so let's copy this code select control C and control V here so infinite scroll and just replace this class to our own class which is my sleek and just paste it here and save infinite slides to show and slide to scroll we will understand in a minute so uh, let's run our project so localhost sleek and enter and now you can see some content you can now able to see uh, slide uh, this way it's nice it's working uh, perfect but we need uh, some more extra thing uh, to uh, build our uh, application uh, more smoothly so dots is true means uh, some uh, this indicator uh, is true so you can see some uh, dots so we will replace uh, uh, this content to an images so I have uh, some images uh, here some four images so we need to copy and paste inside our projects so let's right click and copy and paste inside our project just control C control V and paste like this so these are the images images image 1 image 2 image 3 and this is a JPEG uh, images so let's remove this one and we will replace this uh, content to an images so img src and images inside ima img folder image 1 and it's all to take so let's copy some more time copy paste copy paste copy and paste and then we will replace to 1 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 4 because we have a 4 images and then we can repeat like this way and let's paste one more time let's do control s and then we need to refresh and now you can see it's nice looking slider and it's look perfect but it's not have uh, some content like this so we need to put this content and uh, and also okay let's put some content it here do and give it first uh, we need to overlay uh, some nice effect so let's save and uh, okay just copy this class go to style.css which is our own CSS file uh, but uh, before doing that uh, we have uh, some problem with this scroll bottom scroll we need to remove so it's a body and it's a, a width and height is 100 100 percent first width is 100 percent and then height h e i g h t height is 100 percent and then we uh, over overflow x direction is hidden and margin and padding is 0 0 pixel uh, padding p a double d i n g uh, padding is 0 and when you refresh this scroll has gone so nice and then put it overlay like this so we have a class which is uh, this overlay which is overlay and just come back in a style.css put it dot overlay and we will put some properties to make a nice uh, background color uh, which is a black color black transparent color so it's width in width and height is also 100 100 percent width is 100 percent and height is also 100 percent it's a background uh, put put uh, completely black color we will change in a minute 
and the position is absolute and uh, uh, top is zero left is zero so it will completely cover uh, the image uh, in this way just refresh right so it's now completely black let's right click and inspect it right so let's change this uh, inspector in a uh, bottom and so decrease the the overlay right so it's a uh, copy and let's copy this one you have two options and paste in place of this complete black and uh, it's now transparent when you refresh and also we have uh, this uh, class which is slick slide let's copy this one from here and uh, just paste it here and we need to put this is its a position is relative so it will not uh, uh, affect any other websites apparent so now we have only one transparent background on first image so let's put on second one as well let's copy and paste it here and save and let's replace so we have a two two images have a overlay and uh, inside we will put our own content so class content and content and h1 and h1 tag and inside I'm, I'm putting the content which is hello sleek you can put anything so you can see but it's a color is black so we are not able to see clearly uh, this content so first we need to change the color of that uh, heading level 1 uh, which is a black color so first uh, first change its position is absolute bottom is 0 which it, it means it's completely on a bottom corner uh, in a right side and right is 0 and jet index is 100 you can put uh, more and its color is white save and then refresh so you can see here hello sleek but its right is uh, 10 pixels so it will look correctly control s and save now you can see hello sleek it's perfect and uh, then uh, some more content p paragraph tag and some more content right so now you can see hello sleek some more content so dot content and inside we have a h1 tag and its margin is zero so it's look uh, clear and it's near by p right so let's copy uh, okay let's copy and paste uh, each and every uh, uh, slides uh, so hello sleek one hello sleek two let's paste it here this is for three and this is for four let's put it four this is for five so these are the dummy dummy content and you can uh, replace uh, uh, by fetching the data from database and whatever you are using approach to uh, put the data uh, in place of this dummy content so it's looking nice and perfect look and we have seen and we have understood how we can use the slick slider the slick, slick carousel and this uh, it's pretty easy so simple way uh, uh, I have taught you uh, to use a sleek slider nice so so I'm giving you a homework you need to use uh, each and every example uh, using this I will give you a link in the video description so you can come here and you have to learn uh, in a nice uh, in a this way so thanks for watching bye